Hey guys, this is the Frisbee Authority. It's Brandon. And today I'm going to do a review of, actually not a review, I'm sorry, uh, installation video of the best skins ever. Uh, I decided to do this just to show you guys, you know, how to install this. Just to help you along if you guys get these or any other type of shields like invisible shield or bodyguards. Um, I decided to do best skins ever first because they sent me their product first so it's common courtesy just to do theirs first and the reason I didn't do these right when I got it is because I was doing I just did, I just did the review on uh, this I'm gonna put I didn't put it up yet but I will soon I have it on my camera and I wanted to wait till I was done doing the review of that to put these on so I didn't you know into mess um, between the two mess the review up or anything so here I am I'm gonna do the installation and then I'll after you know one two days I'll just tell you guys what I think about these and then maybe I'll try these with other cases to see if they fit because one well, thing I'm going to show you guys this but I guess I will you guys see I got a slider case from Incase I, I, they didn't send it to me I went to Best Buy and bought this and I was really excited because I heard lots of great things about this case and I wanted to try it out so I'll do that after these best skins ever and put up a review of that and show you guys that because I know that's a really good case and everyone lots of people like it so I hope you guys will be excited for that but this is just going to be the installation of the best skins ever uh, they did send me two full sets I think it's like seven ninety nine for one set but they sent me two so it's really cheap compared to the invisible shield and bodyguards and you guys see this is the full set here's the um, front and they have a little home button cover right there right there and this is the back yeah, there you guys can see it and uh... so it is full body and the reason it's cheaper than like the twenty five dollar bodyguards and invisible shields one reason is because it does not come with these these you see are from invisible shield because i've bought one from my phone and i installed that a long time ago and this, these came with it out of the squeegees, I gotta say, I love the Invisible Shield the best. Bodyguards has one too, but it's like a little piece of like plastic. This is the best squeegee, so I'm gonna use that for this video. And this is just the solution. And this is pretty much soap water. On Bodyguards, they give you a little website to go to to tell you how to make the solution and how to install it. But I know how to install these because I've done one, like I said before, on my phone. They're all the same, the Bodyguards, Invisible Shield, um, best ones ever, they install the same. So. This is going to be the installation. I'm going to use this, like I said. And the reason I have this here, you'll see in a second. But before I do this, I still have my uh, screen protector on here. The Switch Easy Re um, Rebel Touch came with the two screen protectors, and I still have that on here. And I'm going to take that off first. Because it, it was getting scratched anyway. I was going to replace it soon, so I just decided to do it now. And I mean, it's by no means is it bad. It just got a little scratched up, so. And do these, put these on. These should not get scratched up, hopefully, because they're not supposed to. So, what I do to get these off, I just take some scotch tape, packaging tape, which is super, super strength. If you want strong tape, and put it on like a corner like that. You see here. And I tried it before and it was not working really well, so you might want to pull up the corner a tiny bit with your nail and then put this on. And you guys see. Take the invisible shield or the screen shield right off, and that's really clean because I've never. This pretty much has always had a shield on it, so you guys see it's really clean. But I'm still gonna clean it before I put the uh, the she uh best skins ever on, just to make sure it's clean. So we take this off the tape, put that to the side. You never know, I might use it again. Just put it on because they are reusable the uh, screen protectors that come with like companies and stuff. But these aren't though, because these do get stretched out when you take them off. But they're they mean. You don't. You shouldn't need to take them off if you're just like a regular person because they won't get scratched. I mean, me, I might have to because I'm doing reviews, but the average person will not have to take them off because they don't get scratched. I still have it on my phone and it's like one scratch because I was testing it and I scratched it against like super hard rock and it scratched. But other than that, it does not scratch with daily activity from my um, invisible shield on my phone. But this is the best guns ever, which they're all the best guns ever bodyguards, invisible shield. They're really similar. The one thing I do notice about this and the bodyguards though, is that um, they are they don't have that orange peel effect really the invisible shield does and you guys will see that 
when I do a review of those. But before I do this, this is probably going to be a two-part video because it takes time to get the back one on. The front one's a little easier because it's already shaped perfectly for the front. So this is probably the first part will be the front, second part will be the back. But I'm going to clean the front even though it's not really dirty. You just don't want anything on there. And uh, I did wash my hands before I did this. Always wash your hands before you do one of these installations. Because any if you get oil in there, it will be underneath the shield. And these are harder to take off than like a regular protective shield. So I'm just using this cloth, cleaning it up. Then you know, take the dry dry part. And you guys in here. It's kind of squeaky clean. That eye clear does work really well. So make sure there's nothing on here. Give it a final wipe and get all the dirt off. I'm using the micro chamois for the glass. Make sure all dirt's off. And that's pretty good, guys. So now I'm placing it on this. And I'm looking at it, and it is, and there's a little speck of dust. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm very OCD here. Okay, they're all gone. So I'm going to start with the front. Uh, they always tell you, you do this. Here's the solution. They say spray your fingers first, so let me just spray my fingers. So that way when you take it off, you don't get your oil all over and it doesn't stick to your fingers. So now my fingers are all wet, you guys see. And this is the front one. And all you do is peel it off. I'll do the home button too, but first I'm just going to do the screen protector. Here it is, guys. You take it and you just lay it down. Adhesive side up. These are sticky. So you just lay it like that. Just spray it on. Be generous. I mean, don't put too much, but don't be like wimpy. And they say get some on the other side just to make it. I just rub a little on the other side so that it's easy for the squeegee. And that rhymes. And then I'm just going to you know, take this. This is a little hard to do it on a camera, but I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. And guys, hey, let me start on the other side, so that way it's lined up with the home button. And if you guys mess this up, you can take it off within five minutes. And the point of the solution is to be able to slide it around once you get it on. So you guys see I don't have it perfectly aligned. But it does slide a little bit. <coughs> Up, hang on, guys. I almost got it. Just gonna put a little bit more on. And it does get wet on your iPod, but it doesn't really mess it up at all. You can you can get your iPod a little wet. And that is pretty good, guys. That's pretty good guys, so I'm going to go with that. And now you just take the squeegee, while it's still wet, and you just push out everything, and I take the little cloth, put on the sides. You know, and I have my cloth underneath, so if anything comes out, it's good. Just get out all the stuff you can. Guys, I do have a little bit of bubbles in there. This work goes out. And if you don't get everything out, when this dries, it does have the effect where stuff will come out. Guys, I got a piece of dirt underneath there. That's going to drive me crazy. Yeah, I got a piece of dirt stuck underneath there. Whatever, I'm not going to start messing with it now. So guys, that's the front. There are little marks in there, but that will... Oh, the phone seems to ring every video I do. Yeah, you see that little dot right there? But that will, uh, these will go away. And uh, that's the front, guys. I'm going to do the button in the back in the next video. You guys will see that. So, just check out my part two of the best skins ever installation video. Uh, and I'll see you guys in that video in one second.